This is just a review of uh, last night's Night Callers program. I didn't listen to Bigfoot tonight. I actually got sleepy, so I went and took a nap. <laughs> I got I was tired, so I went and took a little nap um, before Bigfoot tonight. Sorry, Chuck and Stacy. I'll try and tune in next week. Uh, but anyway, this is a review of uh, what I thought was a really great show as far as Night Callers was, was concerned. Um, also going to be some announcements in here also. I'm going to make a few announcements while I'm while I'm thinking about it. Uh, and inclu including some new information about the upcoming Sasquatch Summit. Anyway, on to the, on to the review. The review is that uh, the Night Callers was a great show. They had uh, Diane Totten as the guest. Diane is a, um, um, I guess you could call her an elder, an elder Native American Indian. And uh, she talked about um, her beginnings as far as um, how she she was born in Delaware. She's originally from Delaware, uh, but she felt like her life's journey was taking her west to Tennessee, and that's where she has, that's where she lives now. Uh, she's lived there for 30 years. Um, she talked about how she actually had her first sighting back in the late 60s, her, her first Sasquatch sighting. And that was in Delaware. She was on horseback, and one evening, uh, with a full moon, there was a full moon that night. She actually got to see a Sasquatch, and she said it was about um, probably eight foot tall, seven and a half, eight foot tall. She said it was, and it had a human-like face. She said it had a human-like face. The second one, she that was a pretty tall one. The second one she saw, she actually she was a, with a group of of others. And they saw this juvenile who appeared to be wet as if it had just come out uh, out of the river or out of a lake. I think it was a river. I believe it was a river. But uh, anyway, uh, she actually, she saw a, uh, she and several others saw a juvenile Sasquatch back in the early 70s. And that was in Delaware as well. And she also talked about how uh, she actually went shark fishing in a canoe, in a kayak. <laughs> in Delaware Bay, in Delaware Bay, in, in the, uh, off the coast of Delaware, and there were these huge, great white sharks that were around her boat, around her kayak, and they were bigger than the boat. And, and but, but but she knew all she had to do was kind of lay back and take her knife and cut her line to where the sharks would uh, would, would drift free. And I thought that was a fascinating story that she told about that. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, anyway, there was, the footers was great. It was about, um, what appears to be a possible lake creature. I hate calling them lake monsters because I don't think they're really monsters. Lake creature, uh, in England, which is sort of their version of Nessie. And uh, it was a fascinating footers. Uh, there was also a tip from the field from, uh, Anthony Yawn. Uh, he says that you can use your walking stick for more than than just one purpose. And uh, it was interesting uh, tips from the field. That's a new feature on Night Callers, by the way. It's a great feature, too. And uh, Diane talked quite a bit about um, her, her background, her childhood, things like that. <clears throat> I got to call in during the second hour, and um, I asked Diane a couple of questions. I asked her, um, it was referring to... Uh, one of the questions was referring to David Politis' book, um, books, uh, The Hoopa Project and Tribal Bigfoot, where uh, Native Americans had, had, had said that they heard um, Native American language coming from the woods, and that when they would talk, if they would see a Sasquatch and they talked to the Sasquatch in Native American language, the Sasquatch would understand it. Diane said, I believe it. I believe it. Now, Diane also said that she was kind of a uh, student, as it were, of Ivan T. Sanderson. And um, she said that he used the term Bigfoot when she heard a radio program that he was on when he when she was seven years old. She was she was getting over uh, rheumatoid fever, or rheumatic fever. That was it, rheumatic fever. And she said that Ivan Sanderson used the term Bigfoot because I asked her. I said, did did he use the term Oma or Abominable Snowman? And she said he said Bigfoot. So if that's true, then it would it, then that then the the um the uh the term bigfoot would actually go back much further than we believed 
lot of people think that the term Bigfoot came about in 1958. Um, but uh, Diane admitted that she is in her 70s, and uh, this apparently happened when she was seven years old. So uh, apparently Sanderson was was even back then, way back then, talking about Bigfoot. Uh, and saying Bigfoot, so maybe it's possible that Ivan Sanderson was the one that coined the term Bigfoot. Anyway, it was a terrific show. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Diane was a great guest. She she was just terrific. She just, you know, I got to tell her, oh, oh grandmother. Uh, she's kind of uh, everybody's grandmother. She She's kind of a, the caretaker of all of us. I'm looking forward to meeting her hopefully next month in Alabama for an outing that we're going to be going on. I mean, about in about three weeks. Um, anyway, it was a great show, and I really enjoyed it. Um, next Sunday night on Night Callers, the guest will be Lee Culver. That'll begin at eight at seven Eastern, six Central. www.blogtalkradio.com slash Night Callers. Um, as far as announcements, I've I've made the announcement already about MNBRT Radio returning on March seventh. 2011, 9 Eastern, 8 Central, www.blawtalkradio.com slash MNBRT. And a special guest is going to be on that show, and I think I know who it is. And uh, if you saw my, my my video referring to the announcement about the, uh, the return of MNBRT Radio, you most likely got to see who I think is going to be the guest. It's a legend in this field. And it's a legend that's being honored um, in April at the Sasquatch Summit. And I think that's going to be the guest. The first guest, uh, I, Abe did his recent video where he announced it was going to be Authors Month on uh, MNBRT Radio. So, um, And he's already announced ahead of time that on uh, March 21st, he's going to have Tom Control on, the author of Ghosts of Ruby Ridge. And that should be a great show. Uh, Abe, you know, I had Tom on, 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 on my show. I think you, I think you were the co-host that night with me or maybe been Darren. I'm not really sure. I have to go back and listen to the archives of it. But, um, yeah, Abe, I had Tom on my show, uh, back in, back last August and he was a great guest and uh, I think it's going to be a great show. It's, it, it, I'm not sure what other authors Abe's going to have during the month of March, but I'm sure there are going to be some great, great shows. Love MNBRT. I'm going to be there to listen. As always, Abe, I'll be there, bro. And anyway, speaking of the Sasquatch Summit, there is a brand new website dedicated just to the Sasquatch Summit. It's called uh, JohnGreenSasquatchSummit.com. That's the website, www. Well, you really don't need the www. You just type in johngreensasquatchsummit.com. It'll give you full information on the entire event. And there have been some special guests that have been added to the event. First of all, coming from Willow Creek, California, veteran Sasquatch enthusiast and, re and interest er, researcher Al Hodgson is going to be attending the Sasquatch Summit. That's going to be very exciting. Also, all the way from Russia, Igor Bortsev is going to be there. Igor Bortsev is going to be at the Sasquatch Summit. And finally, Adrian Erickson, who is, um, as we all know, we've been keeping up with the Erickson Project, the Kentucky Project, things like that. He's going to be at the Sasquatch Summit as well. So uh, some, some added attractions to the Sasquatch Summit, which is coming up on April, the weekend of April 8th through the 10th. Should be a great show, or it should be a great event, I should say. It's kind of a conference type thing. Uh, there's only going to be five speakers, but there's going to be several tributes to John Green at that event. Uh, the speakers will be uh, John Bindernagel, Jeff Meldrum, uh, Thomas Steenberg, Bill Miller, and... Uh, Chris, I think Christopher L. Murphy. But I'm not. Mis I'm not sure. Yes, Christopher L. Murphy will be giving a presentation. Of course, he'll also have his uh, Meet the Sasquatch exhibit at the Harrison Hot Springs Resort. It'll be at the resort in an adjoining conference room from the where the where the, uh, where the Sasquatch Summit is going to be held. So, um, for those who 
have not gotten to see the actual Meet the Sasquatch exhibit like myself, this will be a great opportunity to be able to see it. Um, and it should be a lot of fun. It's, it, 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 I know that it's going to be there um, at the event. Uh, from what I understand, there's going to be a brunch on that Sunday mo afternoon, April 10th, or Sunday Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, somewhere in there, um, at the uh, Sasquatch Summit. And there's supposed to be some self-guided tours of historical Sasquatch sites and points of interest. Um, should be quite fascinating. Should be really good. Anyway, that's just some updates of, of what's been going on and what's going to be going on um, upcoming at the uh, Sasquatch Summit and also upcoming uh, blog talk shows. So as always, we do encourage you, for all the blog talk shows, we do encourage you to please tune in and support great research.